All right, guys, it's August 23rd or 4th today. It is a uh, maiden voyage for our Ernie 2.0 here. We uh, completely rebuilt this Bueller. It's got all brand spanking new flighting in it, uh, brand spanking new Redondo on it. And this is the first time that we're gonna use this tractor on this auger. Sorry about the wind, but it's a windy day. So our cab is still very clean. We're just kind of got our feet right here on this little rubber mat. Um, our AC is active and it is working. We even have our uh, operator's manual in case we might need it. Don't think we will. We could throw on our Massey hat if we're in Massey mode. Lee's outside, he's waiting for me to hit these hydraulics. I will do that right now. Oh, there it is. Madonna is down. Oh, something's wrong. There it is. Hydraulic. Okay. Okay, so that's why. One's forward, one's reverse. We're gonna have to uh, swap those hydraulic levers out back there. Give her a little bit of. That's our flow. We need to swap those hydraulics. Yeah, we swap three. Yeah. Uh, are you on here now? I'll oh, wait till you put this up. You're on white. Green ones? Yeah, green ones. I want to be able to pull them both back. Otherwise, it just gets super confusing. I closed my window. We adjusted these bad boys so both my hydraulics are back. We don't have a lot of flow on the old Massey here, which is idled now. So we gotta idle her up so that way we have redondo flow. And uh, I guess I don't need these green ones on for the winch. Oh, the wrong one. Okay, all right. Brand spanking new, I look forward to using it. No, oh, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Perfect. So when you do these things with this tire being here, you always want to make sure you stand on the outside of the tire because the valve has gone before. And it would hurt a whole heck of a lot if it didn't break your pelvis. This is your first time? Yeah, first time, first time on the job. Wow, we're almost too close here. All right, we're ready. Got idle down and then slowly engage our PTO. Looking sexy. First load in the bin. Oh boy. Apparently I'm out of shape. All right, looking good. All right, we are working the old tractor here. You're smoking. Just 
still have to take it easy on it because it doesn't have as much power. Oh, I'm burning the fresh paint off of it here. We're back in the tractor here. We're just gonna let uh, Austin finish dumping this sucker. We had to put a couple, a little bit of tape on some holes, and we were dribbling out some mustard. I want to keep an eye on the water temperature as we are running a little bit warmer. Make sure we don't overheat the engine because we are working the engine. But I'll gladly sit on an old Ernie 2.0 because I'm nice and cool in here. And it's like 30 degrees outside. Oh, he's emptying out. And then I'll idle down the tractor a little bit. You want the auger to clean fully out, fully out, before you shut the auger off, though. And you can't, you can't pull the Redondo back until you shut your PTO off or you'll wreck that shaft. So we're literally just waiting here. All right. like that. Get everything over here. You can tear. Right there. Pick it up before it pops a... Uh... There we go. Beauty. Ow! Ow! Ah, <laughs> oh, I just wanted to make sure my toes there. Oh yeah, it's all good. We're good. We're good. Always got steel toes on around here. It's just very still right now. So, nice and easy. It is. We're gonna go right to about 1800 here right away. Oh, maybe 1700. There we go. Oh, it's windy. I apologize about the wind, you guys. It's gonna blow the phone right out of my hand. Oh. Miserable day. Well, guys, I think you pretty much get the idea here. I'm going to let you go. We're obviously combining mustard. And uh, old Ernie is working awesome. Not quite as much power as the green John Deere Birch which are like our 44, our 44, 60, 44, 60, 46, 40, there it is. And our 48, 50, they have a lot more horsepower. But we're already doing the job. Well, Mike, why don't you put a bird on it? We got birds and other augers. We got lots of augers, you gotta have lots of augers. This is my auger, that's my tractor. My monster going in the bin. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the flipper. Adios, amigos. On, just a little bit more action. Got a little bit of a waddle. Oh, don't worry, it's fine.
out here. So far, we're sitting good for temperatures. All gauges look good. Just about got this truck emptied, you guys. Taping up a few leaks. Mustard is like water, it can leak out of anything. Did our, uh, our temp, so far so good. back again you can't get rid of us that easy I guess we're going to uh, put a different auger in the bin not that there's anything wrong with this one but this auger actually has to go out to a different location uh, for a different field that's the reason why we got lots of augers kicking around so there's always changes of plans so what we're doing is we're just gonna swing this thing back Lee's been working extensively on this auger, putting everything together. Everyone's kind of helped out on it though. Oh yeah, I guess I gotta go turn the hydraulics on there, Lee. Uh, oh. Oh, come on, hold it, hold it, Lee, hold it! Hold it! <laughs> oh, man. Well, I know, and that's what I was worried about. You know, snap her right off here. Okay. Yeah, I'll pull that out of the bin. Good to go. I'll pull this one back. Careful you don't lift this thing up too far, or your Radano can take out your window, or your PTO shaft will close together. And let's see if I can find this here. This PTO shaft, right there. You see where there's about? Oh man, maybe you guys don't know. I'll show you here. Be very careful with this because if this hits here, there's the steel shaft in there, and you're gonna push your PTO right through your tractor. That's just how we know. Fancy park brake off. pull away while we're pulling away we'll lower our auger down auger is going down you just it's really hard to tell now we're taking this uh, auger to a different vineyard Lee's gonna do it he's gonna get to uh, enjoy the comforts we don't have a cup holder. Yes, we do. I was sent a cup holder by uh, somebody. I apologize, I can't remember your name. But I do have one, I just gotta put it in here. There we go. Suck up the Rodano. Good. Right there. All right, good enough. All right guys, now I'll let you go. I'll catch you guys on the flipper. Adios amigos.